root 2i is a root of 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus ax minus 10 equal to 0. Find the value of a. Now, this is a cubic equation and one root is given to be root 2i. So, I'll write like this. One root is uh, equal to root 2i. And you want to find what is the value of a. Now, what does this mean? This means x is equal to root 2i. So, whenever they say a root is this, that this means that x is equal to root 2i. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in this equation. So if they're telling us x, one value of x is root 2i, I can put x as root 2i. So what will happen? The next step would be 3 times root 2i, the whole cube, minus 5 times root 2i squared plus a times root 2i minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, this is a bit of algebra. So, yeah, this is 3 times. This is root 2 times root 2 times root 2 times i cube. Okay, I'll write i cube minus 5 times root 2 times root 2 times i squared plus uh, a or root 2ai. You could have written in any order, doesn't matter. You could have written a root 2i, doesn't matter. Okay, now before that, before I move on to the next step, I think you should know that by definition, i is square root of negative 1, which implies i squared is negative 1. Okay. So, i squared can be written as negative 1. So, I'm going to write, okay, one more thing. Root 2 times root 2 becomes 2. So, this is 3 times 2 times root 2 times i times, uh, or i squared times i. I'm doing more steps so that you understand. This is 5 times, again, this becomes 2. 2 times, this is negative 1 plus uh, root 2 a i minus 10, I should have written a 0 here, minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, now this i squared becomes negative 1. And i I will leave it as i, so this is 6. So this is, this is 6 root 2 times minus 1. So I'll directly, I think you can now understand. 6 root 2 i. Where did this minus come from? Because minus i squared is negative 1. This is negative and negative will become positive 10 or plus 10 plus root 2 a i minus 10 is equal to 0. So this plus 10 and minus 10 gets cancelled. You have got, uh, let me write this first, root 2, okay, I'll write root 2 like this. I'm going to change this as root 2i times a minus root 2i times 6 is equal to 0. So this minus has come here. Okay, this the only difference I've done is I've written root 2i first. Now what is common here? I can factor out this root 2i. So this will become, if you factor out the root 2i, you'll have a minus 6 is equal to 0. So now you can divide both sides by root 2i. So you can get a minus 6 is equal to 0. So here you can say dividing dividing both sides by both sides by root 2i. Okay, root 2i is a number. So therefore you can say a is equal to 6. Now, you should not stop here as calculus or as math students. It's always good to check whether our answer is making sense. So, this means this equation changes to 3x cubed, 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6x minus 10. Now, I'm not going to solve this. You can solve this if you want. But I'm going to use a graphic calculator. Uh, and ask the graphic calculator to solve this and see whether this is one of the roots. Okay, so 
so this is my if you I'll delete this first okay first you go to the equation I'll first exit uh, exit yeah okay so go to equation menu first let me exit from here okay you go to the polynomial this is polynomial oops polynomial and this is a third degree polynomial so you type in f2 and for a a is the coefficient of x cube which is 3 enter b is the coefficient of x squared which is minus 5 and this is your enter or execute c is 6 okay and your d is negative 10 you enter just like that and you go solve so you get three roots here this is one one and two thirds if this is this 1.66 is one and two thirds uh, this is 1.4142 is root 2 i'll show you that and the other root is minus root 2i so your those are learning complex numbers you should know if one root all uh, complex roots always lie always appear in, in in pairs of conjugates so you can say if root 2i is a root you can see immediately minus root 2i is also a root so i'll just show you that root 2 is nothing but this value of 1.41 so if you go to run and you press in shift root 2 is 1.4142 whatever okay hopefully this video has been helpful see you in the next